So I am back covering even more news and findings in the world of Cyberpunk 2077 from the past few days. Today we cover photo mode, ray tracing gameplay, memories of Night City being wiped out, a Matrix easter egg or reference, the Burger Guy, Xbox Series X bundle leak and much more so a big one today people. But before we go any further I can't tell you how much hitting that like button truly helps me out. So what are you waiting for? Also subscribe if you are new around here and want to see more daily cyberpunk. So let's get into this and let's start with the Xbox Series X cyberpunk bundle which was spotted a Polish retailer. Okay so this bundle is supposed to launch on release day of cyberpunk which is December 10th. But this has not been confirmed by either CDPR nor Microsoft at this time but it's highly likely we will see it announced very soon indeed. I know many parts of the world people are struggling still even to get their hands on an Xbox Series X, but with this coming soon, it might be your chance. Okay, so moving on. Now with a few different trailers, we have seen a scene within a diner. One scene we are talking to this dude seeking revenge, then in another scene we are speaking to Johnny Silverhand. Now the guy in the background is nose deep in his burger in both scenes. Yes, absolutely hilarious and the memes we have seen already are quite funny. Now many people picked up on this and although I do think this is relatively around the same time in game, that is kind of thrown off when you notice all the other customers here within this diner are different. But yet the NCP who's playing the part of the diner worker is in the same place. Either way that dude is still munching his nose deep within that burger. In my opinion this dude needs to be a mascot for the game, but hey. Okay so moving on, and a while back I speculated that we would see through the eyes of Johnny Silverhand, either through playing a uh, brain dance or through his memories. It seems though it will be memories but we will still be playing through them according to Phil Hornshaw who said that these gameplay sequences are reliving Silverhand's memories from his perspective. But in the video from a while back which I mentioned this, I spotted what looked like a nuke going off in the background and I speculated that it was that of Night City and we were seeing it burn into the ground. Law folks will know what I mean here. Well within the latest trailers we see this scene and get a better look of what seems to be Night City in flames. And well again I could speculate here but I think my theory the first time was right and we are seeing and playing this through the eyes of Johnny Silverhand who is within our heads obviously. Ok so moving on and although I confirmed this a while back people were on my case stating the source wasn't legit although it was from a worker at CDPR. But again guys it has been confirmed that photo mode will be a part of this game as this question was asked on Twitter and Marcy Moment confirmed it as you can see on screen now. He's by the way the global community lead for the people wondering. So yes guys photo mode will be in the game and it seems as though when we're playing with this mode we'll be able to pose as V taking shots of V at the same time so pretty cool. Ok so let's move on to that matrix reference. So there is a snippet within the Johnny Silverhand trailer where we get a quick glimpse of Johnny swallowing both a red pill and a blue pill at the same time. People who have watched The Matrix will know of this straight away, wherein The Matrix indicates Neo's choice of staying either in The Matrix or learning the truth. Within The Matrix though he has to take one or the other. Within this cyberpunk trailer, Keanu Reeves aka Johnny Silverhand aka Neo takes both. A great little reference in my opinion. Ok so let's move on and two more things we have learned from the past few days and they are, you can no longer complete the game in the attire you start with, although this was believed to be possible at the start. It's been confirmed now that you can't upgrade that standard gear and you have to use upgraded stuff you acquire for increased stats and so much more. Now initially I do believe you could have upgraded your standard gear, but it's been confirmed either way now that is not the case. And also guys, going on to the subject of ray tracing, it's been confirmed ray tracing will reflect everything within Night City except you as V as the player, as this was said to be causing performance issues and this was according to Miles Toast. Ok so let's end the video with that PC ray tracing gameplay which you are seeing in the background now. I will say if you want to see this in that glorious 4K, the link will be found below. But as you can imagine it looks beautiful for sure. And well on the subject right here of PCs, system requirements have also been released which you can see on screen now. 
So for you PC wizards out there, unsaid platforms being your gameplay choice for Cyberpunk 2077, I hope this helps you out. And yes guys, we have come to the end of the video. Just a quick news roundup for you guys, covering stuff I've missed from the past few days, which I haven't mentioned already. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But I will leave you now to watch the rest of this PC RTX ray tracing gameplay for those who haven't seen it already. Don't think there's much new here if I'm honest, but it's still beautiful to look at. Again, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.